Good morning, July 3rd, 2023, 821 in the morning. Welcome to the fourth watch. Today's a reminder, how you live your days is how you live your life. If you're starting your days on the right footing, planted in the word, Matthew 6, you're in a good place. You're fighting from the high ground. If you're starting your day late or on the defensive, you have to ask yourself why. What's the circumstance around you? Where are you finding yourself? And where'd you wake up? Not just physically, but mentally, spiritually. Are you waking up each day saying, I'm a spirit, I live in a body, and I possess my soul. I'm a spirit being, surrounded by spiritual beings, calling out to a spiritual God and going to a spiritual place. So who's your spirit? If you died, would you know who you are? You are a spirit, you live in your body. How are you taking care of yourself? Is your body even capable of, of keeping up with the rigors and demands of life as you see it and where this place is headed? And third, you possess your soul. Your spirit is supposed to be driving your inputs, your outputs, and your soul's response. Your soul is your mind, heart, and emotions. Right? So the emotions are driven by feelings. Feelings are these temporary things that are inputs that we receive. Emotions are what kind of get cultivated and, and produced over time. So you have to be mindful of those things. So what you let in, inputs and outputs. If it's garbage in, it's garbage out. Your mind is something that you're constantly cultivating because it's fertile territory. And then your heart, from the treasures and problems of the heart, come all of life's issues and, and joys. Whose heart are you after, yours or God's? If you're after God's, your heart changes. Your heart posture is different because it's not just based off selfish pursuits. It's not based off fleeting, temporary wants. It's based off something eternal, something spiritual. So this is an opportunity every single day. Start on a spiritual footing. Do not allow yourself to get sucked down the rabbit hole of, oh, look, I'm a human and I'm having a spiritual awareness today, occasionally, randomly. No, you start your day as a spirit having a spiritual existence and you're driving from that place or you're not. That's up to you. You see, there's no more Christ available to you. Every time you ask God for more, what you're really asking is, God, help me find a way to walk in the full measure of what you made and where you're bringing me. Because Jesus isn't going back on the cross for you. Every time that you repent, you're not starting back from zero. You're starting back and asking to be restored back to the last place, the highest place that you were with Christ. You have to destroy your unbelief, thinking that you have to live in shame and guilt. Your repentance means that God's forgiven you. He's already forgiven you. You have to receive forgiveness. You're not asking for it. You're operating from that place of forgiveness. If you can't see yourself there, you need to ask why. What have you allowed in of the enemy to tell you that you are not capable of being forgiven? This is part of how you live your days is how you live your life. If you know that you're forgiven, you operate from that place. The enemy can't knock you back every single time that you mess up. We all mess up. You have to get to this place where you realize if we're more than conquerors, what does that mean? It means that we're unconquerable. It means that as the enemy comes in like a flood, we've already been raised as a standard against it. But if we don't see ourselves as that, that's on us. It's not on God. Jesus isn't going back on the cross. There's no more extra Jesus that we need. There's no more extra Holy Spirit. There's more faith. There's less unbelief. And until you see how that plays out, until you know that you can operate from this weird paradox of being in complete peace and rest, but also completely engulfed in war, it's attainable but you might be the one that's in the way. So whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope to God you're getting in his word, into prayer and into the fight. It's needed. It's necessary. Your work, your words, your prayer, it's all necessary. Don't let the enemy tell you otherwise. That's it. God bless. Godspeed. Get at it. See ya.